They walk into danger first and put their safety last in an effort to save others. But what happens when the first responders you're supposed to call for help show up but don't do their jobs? Only on 10, 10 on your side's Aisha Tolliver investigates if a man could still be alive had two Newport News firefighters acted. It was a shot spotter alert on October 15th, 2023 that first sent Newport News police and firefighter medics to Garden Drive. When they got there, they found 39 year old Quandrell Williams of Smithfield with a gunshot wound behind. Quandrell Williams with the gunshot wound. So let's see how the, how these first responders is going to go to prison and shit. The firefighters must have shot him, right? Yes. They, oh, they got fired. So they got fired because Quandrell Williams got shot. That first sent Newport News police and firefighter medics to Garden Drive. When they got there, they found 39-year-old Quandrell Williams of Smithfield with a gunshot wound behind this home. Williams was transported to a local hospital where he died 10 days later. That's the story the city shared with the community. But the story 10 on your side uncovered might lead one to question why the city didn't share more. On March 4th, we received an anonymous email. It claimed a man who was shot wasn't transported for medical treatment immediately upon arrival of first responders. Rather, the message alleges the victim was left to sit there for nearly an hour with no medical care at all. We went to work to see if there was any way this could be true. Dozens of emails, phone calls, information requests, and door knocks later, we connected it to William's homicide case. All ultimately leading us to this interview with Police Chief Steve Drew and Interim Fire Chief Wesley Rogers, where for the first time, they're admitting some of the allegations made in that email did happen. When medics responded uh, and they found Mr. Williams, they declared Mr. Williams deceased. Uh, after some time of being on the incident, they realized that Mr. Williams was not deceased. We had a lot of questions. What made them believe? Okay, so they made a mistake. <laughs> That's reasonable. <laughs> Like they made a mistake, okay? Um, you know, they were rubbing the sleep out of their eyes after treating the fifth son men shot to death that day, you know, on the block. And they thought, oh, my, you know, he's dead. we got to move on to the next one. And uh, actually, he was alive. So, yeah, they're going to lose their jobs and be, uh, you know, pariahs forever now. Racist. They're, they're going to be racist for this. Trust me. He's black and they're probably white. They're racist believe he was dead did medics attempt any aid and what did they tell the family neither rogers nor chief drew would go into detail Smash saying this was report. an active criminal investigation but they did say what occurred was in no way what should have i just would like to say that the employees on that incident the senior providers did not live up to the standards of care that are accepted by the newport news fire department and the city of newport news sources close to the fire department say williams laid on this porch alive for close to 40 minutes with a gunshot wound to his head before he was transported to Riverside Regional Medical Center. Court documents say he was pronounced brain dead on October 25th and taken off life support. We've got to make changes moving forward. If that what about the fucking sun turd that shot him? Not a word. Any thoughts on him? I didn't hear that not one damn time. Yeah, man. Um, it's the firefighter's fault, man. God. Dog, man, sons, sons put you in a bind, man. How the fuck the shooter that actually shot, shot them in the head is like nobody talks about that, but it's the firefighters. Like, they got to get fired. That's why. There have been no arrests. Hey, isn't it reasonable to believe, you know, if you see somebody with a head shot, you know, a gunshot wound to the head, you're going to assume they did? No, I would. I well, assume you I mean did. Here's the thing, they're, they're, they're first responders, so they've seen a lot of this stuff. So they probably made a judgment call based on the scene. Like, we don't know what the scene looked like. We don't know if his brains was hanging out. We don't know if he had no pulse. We don't know if they checked his pulse and he didn't have a pulse, and then maybe a pulse came back. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what happened. All we know is that they made their they made an assessment that he was dead. And I wonder, I mean, was he moving? He probably wasn't moving on those steps. And and it was wrong. I mean, I'm sure if he was moving, they wouldn't have. I mean, 
Yeah, like they didn't detect a pulse or something. That's what we got to do. But as an organization, we got to be better. The whole situation was captured on Newport News police body camera. While we asked to see it, citing the investigation, the city wouldn't release it. So what really went wrong? We went out to the neighborhood to try and see if anyone saw anything. We spoke to a neighbor who remembered hearing around five shots that morning, but they couldn't recall how long it took before Williams was transported. One ring doorbell camera faces the scene, but the person inside the home didn't answer the door. If you had so, to have it yeah, done. Ain't, you ain't getting that. Okay, right, and you, you look back on all the body camera footage and you say, you know what, my guys did everything they could. They did the right thing followed protocol all the way through, what would that have looked like? Mr. Williams would have been transported immediately. Immediately? Yes. Rogers says the senior EMS captain was initially canceled because they thought the victim was dead, but went back to the scene later when it was discovered he was still alive. We do it to help people, to save people. And, you know, when people don't live up to that or don't live up to those standards of conduct that we, we hold so dear as to what we do, absolutely, it breaks your heart. Do you believe in any capacity that race played a role? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh my god, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, the gun memorial in Newport News is a hundred percent sun people. Or oh, yeah. ninety-eight, excuse me, ninety-eight percent. They call it bad damn news. There, honey. People there call it they call it bad news, man. Um listen, man. Um listen. They've probably saved or or treated on the scene hundreds of sun. That's all they do is, yo. If if you hate black people, why are you a first responder in Newport News? If you hate black people so much, very perplexing. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Help people to save people, and you know when people don't live up to that or don't live up to those standards of conduct that we we hold so dear as to what we do. Absolutely, it breaks your heart. Do you believe in any capacity that race played a role? Absolutely not. Uh, as an organization, we're here to support and be here for our community, and there is absolutely no you won't get racism. No credit with some people. With they don't give you no fucking line that of credit. Involves this fire department. Rogers says nope. the city manager was notified, and an internal investigation began quickly. So, what happened to the firefighters involved, and what does the family think about all of this? That part of the story at six. Aisha Tolliver, it's on your side. In a story you'll see only on 10, our Aisha Tolliver investigates after allegations medics didn't follow protocol when responding to a shooting in Newport News. It is a mistake that could have been. Oh, this is the same. They, they doubled up on that story. But this is. God damn. But I feel like it's racist to, to imply that it had to be racism. Like, yeah, I feel like it's like why would why would that be the first thing you think about? Yeah, it's just it's just disappointing, man. That sons they put you in a bind though, because everything is race. Nothing's ever their fault. So like whoever you spend your entire life triaging and caring for the wounded in the sun community, and like the moment you make a mistake, you're a fucking shit canned and a racist. Yeah, you're a racist. You did you you didn't help him because he was black. Um I never even noticed a pattern of you know the medical personnel leaving black folks stranded. Like